Hey guys, thanks so much for coming in for a video today. As I told you in my last video, this is going to be a cumulative collective haul because I've gone all week long and I'm doing them uh, in increments because I don't like to make my videos too long. They're too um, tricky to upload when I do them that way and I feel like I can ramble a little bit too much. So let's start with what I got. Remember I talked to you guys about the captain's room, which is my middle daughter's former bedroom and she always loved pirates so I really ran with the theme even more when she moved out and got married and she left a few things behind so we turned it into a captain's room. Now it did need some new bedding so I found this great bed skirt. It's velvet and it's made really really nice. I love when the bed skirt is made out of fabric and not that that really flimsy, um, I don't even know what it, it almost feels like paper and they tear really easily but this is a very well made uh, bed skirt and it's gray or silver velvet and it's trimmed in black. I gotta wash this up before I put it on. So uh, I got this. She let me have it for uh, four. She had it for 12 and I asked her to reduce it because it had one tiny little hole somewhere. It had like a little hole in it and I showed it to her. And this was at the charity shop that I tell you is kind of expensive and I actually took you there on a ride along. Well, she had it marked for 12, but she went ahead and marked it for eight and she let me have it for four because everything in the store was half off. They've been doing that half, half off pretty often now because their prices are pretty high and they, they really are. They really need to put them at 75% off on some of those things. But I thought this was a great deal. I really love it. It's a beautiful velvet, very, very soft. I like it a lot and it's gonna be perfect for that. And then I went ahead and went to Marshall's or TJ Maxx, one of those places that I don't normally go to. I don't really like to shop at those places very much, only because they're a big mess usually, but I always go there for a bedspread or any kind of bedding. And I didn't want to do any bedding from the thrift store because not only am I a little leery about some of their stuff, but not so much that, because I know I could blow the heck out of it in a, in a washer, but, but they're so expensive. Some of them are like $25. Go buy a brand new one at Ross for $40 or $35. So that's exactly what I did. And I bought a gray one and it actually came with the, with the pillowcases and the shams and everything. So I am ready to redo that room and get it ready for uh, my visit from uh, a visit from my son and his wife. That's kind of the, the guest bedroom now. All right, then I got this little igloo sandwich. It's kind of like a reusable sandwich bag. Love these things. I have one for my daughter that we got at uh, one of the Pier Imports or something. And these are really, really nice because not only do you, you know, save. All right, guys, I'm back. The phone rang and it was my son, so I had to take it. All right, uh, I don't even know where I left off, but I think I was talking to you about this bag. And it's just a sandwich bag. It was 70, 49 cents. And I think I told you what I paid for the skirt. I did. Uh, $4 because she marked it down. But anyway, yeah, I really like these. And now that I'm going to start making my lunch to take, because normally I was very spoiled here. I worked right across the street from my house, pretty much seven minutes away, and I would come home for lunch. But I'm definitely going to be packing the lunch uh, for my new job come August. So I am ready. I love those bags. And I just stick them in the, uh, in the dishwasher like this. Just put them there like a glass, and they come out nice and clean. All right, another thing that I got, this was at the Goodwill, and this was $1.99. And this is a little travel jewel pouch, so it's got a lot of little pockets all around it. And this still had a tag that says jewelry case. Uh, and it does say, I believe, $7, normally $7, but I got it for 2 at the Goodwill. It's really pretty. It's satiny, and it's quite thick. And it's got beading and just all kinds of embellishment all around. And then the drawstring even, even has a little bit of bead, beading designs as well. I love these. These are really, really um, nice when you travel. And you can put your rings in here and then just put your bracelets and everything else in the middle. And there you go. A little travel pouch for your jewelry is what I got there. All right, and then also at the Goodwill, they had these really cute hair accessories for 79 cents. These are just little ponytail holders, and uh, that's the black and tortoise shell. And then here is a gray and white. So I went ahead and got both of these for 79 cents. And then I got, and guys, let me know if you want me to hold off on the books for a book haul. 
I don't know if y'all actually enjoyed all those uh, book hauls that I did, but let me know because I enjoyed doing them. But uh, I'm just going to bring them to you randomly now, but uh, sometimes I really do stock up on books. So let me know if you like the book hauls separate from the regular haul. I'll just save a whole bunch of books to do all at once. This is a writer's reference, and I got this for my middle daughter because uh, she is also in a... Uh, in college right now she's in a teaching uh, certification uh, program she's been doing a lot of reading for writing and, and effective writing and so forth and this was uh, gosh I don't remember what did I pay for these books I think all of these okay this was it this was considered a paperback and it was a um, dollar and then they were half off so it was 50 cents this was from a one prize for all these books and then this was also considered, she even had different prices on big or small paperbacks. So basically they were all about a dollar or two. This is a, uh, an exam for Spanish as a secondary language. And I just want to kind of, like I said, hone my Spanish skills so I can be ready to take another certification for a bilingual teacher as well. Even though I'm a special education teacher, I want to expand my repertoire as much as possible. And they're, they're even hiring now for bilingual special education teachers. So there's just, there's a whole market out there. All right, then I got this from my school library. It's Colin Powell. I love these children's books that um, profile uh, important people. And I have some vintage ones with the Kennedys. And I just love them. And I think children enjoy reading about uh, things like this and especially for a read-along I think this is a good one all right and then I got me another one of these because the one I I lent to my tutelage uh, that I tutor for Spanish I lent it to him and uh, he's really using it so I thought I would get me another one and this one's in much better condition than the one I had as well it's 501 Spanish verbs again this was only like a dollar and this is an expensive book it's really not cheap. Very, very good book. I get. Okay. Oh, here's something. I'm going to skip around and save some of, some of that stuff for later. I had been looking for a stovetop percolator. Now, this is not necessarily a, a stovetop. This is for camping, and this is by Coleman. Brand new. They still had this one at the Goodwill in the basket. She was unloading it. I got it for $3. And because I have another one like this, that I use on my stuff, but it's a collectible and it's got a really pretty painting on it and it's white and it's just really, really cute. And I hate using it so much. But I like having it on display in my shelf. So I don't like taking it out and putting it back. So I wanted one of these. I'm glad I found it and it's actually equally useful because it's for camping as well. So uh, yeah, it's a Coleman percolator and it is brand spanking new. thing is, this is really cute. This is like a little bunt cake, and I put it on the plate. It's a bunt cake candle. Look at that. See the butter there? And it smells so good. She let me have it for 99 cents. This was Salvation Army, and it really burned it all. So it's pretty neat. Look how huge this is. It smells just like pumpkin. Very, very nice. Pumpkin ginger smell. Love it. 99 cents. All right, let's do a couple more books and then we'll move on. I got another copy of the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter. Remember I told you I wanted to complete another set because my daughter has a set and uh, I want to have a set in my uh, classroom. So I'm trying, I don't even know if I already have that one, but you can never have too many Harry Potters. How to Clean Practically Anything. I got this from my mom who is the absolute whiz at cleaning everything and it's because she has a lot of you might enjoy this this was uh, 49 cents and uh, some of these were from the Goodwill. oh this Harry Potter was also from the Goodwill it's $2.99 and then this one was on sale because it was a green tag so 60 cents because they were 30% off or something and this is a drama reading women's monologues my daughter was in drama last year and she is Sometimes in competitions where they have to do kinds of all kinds of readings and things for their competitions. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Uh, like I said, let me know if you prefer a straight out book haul or if you just like it hodgepodge like what I've been doing lately. Again, thank you so much for joining me and for watching my videos, for your comments. Your kind comments are always appreciated. 
and your critique as well because that's how I try to improve. I know people have been telling me they can't hear the videos, so I've been trying to speak up. I adjusted the volume. I wish I had a better camera. I don't at this time, but I am looking into that. Thank you again for everything. All right, see you later. Bye.